In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Sounds Fishy app, which was one of the questions in your homework. First, start with a new project, call it Sounds Fishy app, or whatever you like. Then, drag and drop a horizontal layout. Then, drag and drop a label. Change the text to in this case, I change it to enter four numbers. <laughs> and then drag and drop a text box beside it. I rename the text box to be distances, distances underscore text. <clears throat> Make sure you change the hint to nothing. Then drag and drop a process button change the name to process underscore button and then drag and drop a notifier so we can display the final message to the user <clears throat> so this is done with the design of the screen now let's go ahead and design the code first of all we are, the user is going to enter four numbers separated with comma Obviously, we have to split the distances and then use the distances in our app. To do that one, we have to introduce a new variable. Let's call the variable distances. Obviously, this distances has to be a list because we have to separate all those distances. So I'm going to create an empty list. And that's all we have to do with the variables. I don't need any more. Then I'm going to click on process button and then when it's clicked. The first thing I always do when the user clicks on the process button is that I'm going to make sure that the distances is going to be the split of whatever the user types. So to do that one, now I'm going to split the distances using the split function And I'm going to then put it in the list distances. So the text is going to be the distances text. And the piece is comma. Now my distances is going to be a list of four numbers. I have to check the first number against the second number, the second again, the third, and so forth. So I need the if here. Now I'm going to say if the first number is greater than the second number. Now the first number, I have to go to the list and I have to find the select so I'm going to say if select list item the list is the distances now so I'm going to say if distances index 1 which is the first number is greater than the second number so I duplicate this one and I put it here greater than second number and you can see that this is a long piece of code. So I'm going to again make it external. So it's going to be smaller now. So I'm going to say if the first number is greater than second number and the second number is greater than the third number. So I'm going to use a logic which is AND. So if the first number is greater than 
the second number and the second number so I'm going to duplicate this one you will be tempted to put it back here because the problem is that I have more than one and that I have to consider again I'm going to make this one external input so it's going to be shorter and I'm going to put it here so I'm going to say if the first number is greater than the second number and the second number is greater than the third number and the third number is greater than the fourth number so I'm, I'm going to need another and and I'm going to make it external again so this one I'm going to put it here this one checks if the first number is greater than the second number and the second number is greater than the third number and the third number is greater than the fourth number so I'm going to duplicate this one and put it here and the third number is greater than the fourth number this will check to see if they are in ascending order in descending order sorry because the first one is greater than the second one the second one is greater than the third one the third one is greater than the fourth one if all this is true then I know that the fish is descending because the first is greater than the second, second is greater than the third, third is greater than the fourth. Now the question is that how am I going to display it? I can have a notifier here for every condition which is satisfied. Okay, so I'm going to use my notifier, but I'm going to change it later on. Just wait here. So I'm going to say if this is true then I'm going to put the message the message first of all the heading bounds fishy app the text on the bottom I'm going to say ok and the message is fish fish diving if this is not true else then I'm going to put another if here and I'm going to duplicate this condition and put it here now I'm going to say if the first one is less than the second one and the second one is less than the third one and the third one is less than the fourth one then I know this time the fish is rising rising what about if this one is also not true meaning that all of them are equal now so I'm going to say again again I'm going to have another if and I'm going to copy this one again now I'm going to check to see if the first one is equal to the second one and the second one is equal to the third one and the third one is equal to the fourth one then the message is going to be fish at constant depth If also this is not true, meaning let's say two of them are equal or the other two are different, then we say that there is no fish. 
so I have to have for this one I have to have an else now else you are going to say no fish so let's go over it again we get the distances then we are going to split it using the character comma so now I have four numbers now I'm going to check to see if the first number greater than the second number the second number is greater than the third one and the third one greater than the fourth one then I know that the fish is diving because the distances are decreasing if this is not true I'm going to check if the first one is less than the second one the second one is less than the third one the third one is less than the fourth one then the distances are increasing so this means that the fish is rising if this is not true then I'm going to check if the first one is equal to the second one the second one is equal to the third one and the third one is equal to fourth one then it means that fish is stationary fish at constant depth if also this is not true then it means that this is just a noise there is no fish around now if you look at here this show message dialog has been repeated and is doing the same thing we are just displaying something to the user I'm going to use some other way of using this dialog. Remember the procedure that I told you yesterday on another video? Let's create a procedure, but this time our procedure just shows a message, doesn't return anything. So this time I'm going to use this block. Let's call it display. Now display has to get an input, so let's go here and get one of these and let's call this input message. So whenever I call this display, it's going to show me a message. Now I'm going to duplicate this one and put it here. Now this message here in this case is no fish, is going to be this guy. So I'm going to take this one, this one out and put this, that, this one here now whenever you call the procedure display with the input message it's just going to show you the message with the title and the button given here now here instead of using the notifier I'm going to use the call method so I'm going to take this one out and put this one here and this one back here and this one is garbage <clears throat> the same thing here I'm going to take this one out duplicate this one and the message is going to be fish at constant depth so I'm going to put it back here and then I'm going to delete it I'm going to duplicate this one bring it up instead of this fish rising I'm going to take this one and put it here this is garbage this one is also garbage and this goes here and the last one again I'm going to duplicate it take this one out fish diving here this is garbage put this one here now you can see that every time 
one of these conditions is true, I'm going to call the display procedure, and the display procedure is going to get a different message. And this is going to use the notifier to show the message on the screen. I'm going to clean up the blocks, and this is going to be our app. I have already started my uh, emulator. There is a problem with our code is this block here. And this block is not the one which is going to split the text. What we have to use is we go to our text blocks. And we have to use this block which splits the text at this character. So I need to split the text here, add character comma, and drop this one, and use this one. Now I have my emulator ready, and I'm going to go and check it. I'm going to go back to an example here, and use the same number. The first one is 30, 10, 20, 20. So I'm going to type 30, 10, 20, 20 because we start with 30, which is greater than 10, and then 10 is less than 20, so it has to show me no fish. And it says no fish. Now I'm going to go with the next example, which is 10. Comma, oh, one, comma, ten, twelve, and thirteen because it's increasing, then it means that the fish is rising. Fish is rising. If I have something like thirteen, twelve, ten, and one then it's decrementing, so it means that the fish is diving. Fish is diving. If I change this one to 100, then you can see the order is not either increasing or decreasing or constant, so this means that there is no fish, it's just a noise.